SpaceX fires up SN20 for the first time. Intro Elon Musk is another step closer to Mars, with the first static fire test being completed by SpaceX's SN20 Starship. In this video, we will reveal all the details about the first static fire tests as well as Starship engineering. With the first static fire test of SpaceX's SN20 Starship completed, we can finally get a glimpse of what it looks like. The test was declared successful and ground tests will continue before it becomes operational. So stay tuned to the video and subscribe to our channel for more SpaceX news and updates. SpaceX launched the Starship prototype for the first time on Saturday with a powerful thermal vacuum system that helps to test out the engines. Let's talk about the moment of the test. SpaceX Starship First Static Fire Test The preparations for the launch of the SpaceX spacecraft continued and the first static fire tests of the SpaceX SN20 spacecraft were completed. The event was broadcast live on nasaspaceflight.com. The static fire test was held at a facility of SpaceX's Starbase, which is located near the South Texas town of Boca Chica. On October 21, at 7.16 p.m. Central Time, SpaceX SN20 came to life during the first static test of the vacuum-optimized Raptor engine, known as the RVAC, designed to travel in space. The prototype spacecraft is fully stainless steel and is currently powered by two engines, the RVAC and the Raptor that are operating at sea level designed for atmospheric flight. The ship will be powered by two types of engines, RVAC and sea level engines for the next orbital flight test. Each type will have three engines. The SN20 is 165 feet high and is attached to two Raptors engines, but only one Raptor was used for testing. Two Raptors with the SN20 engine include a Sea Raptor and a Vacuum Sealed Raptor. The Vacuum Predator is optimized to work in space that was activated during the first test and half an hour after the test SpaceX confirmed that it was the first such test in which a vacuum predator was integrated into a spacecraft via a tweet from the company. A static fire test for SN20 was performed and activated for both predators. The first Raptor was activated at 2016 for testing and the other at 2118. When viewed live on nasaspaceflight.com, the latter was brighter and more powerful than the first Predator. Spaceships were designed by SpaceX to bring people and goods into space, meaning it is made to be located in various distant places in space, including the Moon and Mars. Starship is the first crewed lunar landing system for the lunar program Artemis, and NASA also joined this project. According to Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, the spacecraft will take its first launch to Mars in 2024. In the beginning, the rocket will only carry the cargo which will be followed by carrying passengers in 2026. The spacecraft is designed to be reusable. Musk also believes that the rocket will become a means of transportation to travel around Earth too. You can travel to any destination on Earth in less than one hour. Till date, nine test flights have been made for SN20. About the spacecraft, the Starship is the next iteration of the Falcon family of rockets and spaceships that Tesla Inc. founder Elon Musk is creating to fly people and goods to Mars and beyond. It's big! The new rocket is taller than any other commercial rocket in use today, standing at 106 feet tall with a 19 foot diameter nose cone at its base and a 43 foot wide upper stage with four engines on each side for liftoff thrust. The Starship prototype is designed to serve as a test bed for SpaceX's most cutting edge technologies. It is part of their Interplanetary Transport System ITS, which has been designed to carry passengers and cargo all over the solar system, according to Elon Musk. If you love knowing what goes on around the world, or just want to learn about the most innovative companies in the world, this is the channel for you. Subscribe to our channel as we share news, updates of the tech that are getting introduced in the world. Let's get into the engineering of spacecraft. Starship is engineered in such a way making it a fully reusable rocket. It means it can carry passengers and cargo to its destination in several rounds. The crew of approximately 100 people can be easily accompanied in the spacecraft's second stage, Starship, Starship and Super Heavy Launcher. The SpaceX spacecraft has two parts, one a spaceship called a Starship and the other a giant booster called Super Heavy. The Raptor feeds both sides. Both the parts of the spacecraft are reusable and both will be equipped with Raptors. Starship, the second stage, consists of six, and Super Heavy, the first stage, will consist of 29. The report says there will be six Raptors equipped in the Starship SN20, three of them standard and three empty. SpaceX is preparing the vehicle for the first time in the Starship program for testing in orbit shortly. The Super Heavy booster is the first stage of the spacecraft. 
Super Heavy has a height of 230 feet and is about 3 million kg in mass. It is 30 feet in diameter. You can also call it a booster as it provides the boost needed by the supercraft for reaching orbit. After reaching space, the Super Heavy object returns to the launch site on its six legs after getting separated from the Starship, which on the other hand continues its journey to its destination in space. The Starship is the second stage of the spacecraft, which will continue its journey in space. It is 30 feet in diameter and has a height of 160 feet and is capable of carrying the crew members, passengers and cargo from Earth to its destinations. According to Musk, the spacecraft is designed and engineered, making it a reusable launch vehicle. You are not the only one thinking of sustainable life by reusing the products. The spacecraft is also designed to be a reusable launch vehicle that can carry people to Mars in several turns. Previous tests and news covering SN20. The Starship serial number 20 brief testing of the static fire was considered a crucial milestone and first step for SpaceX as well as NASA in the development of the spacecraft. The SpaceX CEO, Elon Musk, shared on Twitter that the Starship prototype was able to reach full power for about 12 seconds during its inaugural launch. It was able to reach a successful shutdown as well. The company is currently testing out the Raptor engines that are powering it. The previous test was conducted by SpaceX on February 17th, which resulted in successful test firing of the SN20 Starship prototype's Raptor engines. The rocket was positioned at SpaceX's facility in McGregor, Texas. The test was conducted on a subscale prototype of the engine that will be used on the company's next generation launch vehicle, Starship. The prototype is one of three versions planned for testing and is designed to demonstrate flight safety and flight performance with higher thrust than any other rocket engine ever built by SpaceX. The tests were part of a series of planned tests and evaluations and went according to plan with no anomalies observed during the firing sequence. SpaceX advanced its plans to launch a Starship prototype into orbit by firing up the vehicle's Raptor engines for the first time. This is a major milestone in SpaceX's plans to launch a Starship prototype. A successful test of the Raptor engines is crucial for SpaceX to happen. In 2018, when Musk announced his plan for Starship prototypes, he also revealed that a separate company would be responsible for manufacturing the rocket engine components in due course. The news came as a surprise because SpaceX had been in charge of manufacturing all of their previous rocket engines. However, soon after the announcement, Musk clarified that it was going to be different this time and that the engine we're building is more or less. Conclusion We hope you enjoyed your trip to the SpaceX Starship SN20. Do you believe that people will migrate to Mars in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for staying updated with the tech world. We will see you soon in our next video.